We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on their in-state rivals to the east, the Philadelphia Eagles. It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the side. Pick it in trouble, and down he goes. Jordan Davis, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now pick it. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. It's a pickup of 12 and that'll set up a third down. They'll come up now third and three. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Keely Ringo puts it off. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And the defense closes quickly there, and he'll get maybe a yard to the 33. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Throwing his hurts. That's going to be a loss of 15 yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Play action. Here's Hertz. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Wise play by Pickett, sliding to avoid the hit. He also has the first down. 
That one good for 16 as the drive continues. He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. Pick it to throw on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. We've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. We're scoreless after one. In the first quarter with no score. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. It'll be a loss of five there as the safety blitz winds up paying off. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Pickett. Buying time to his left. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Not sure what happened out there. It looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. But you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. You're darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. Your right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So second and four from the 22. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first and ten, it's Swift. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. This is Smith. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. First and goal at the five-yard line. Smith catches left side. 
Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And if you're going to pass down here, you better get that in the end zone. I agree with you totally. And as we both know, the field's already condensed. There's just not a lot of space. So you've got to create some by getting some people downfield into the end zone. If you want to throw it short, you've got to have... And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for a score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Elliott on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hit the crowd of both. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on that fact. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Pickett back to throw. Trying to improvise. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Third and long for Pickett. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Final play of the first half. Here's Pickett. Being shaped, and he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off for the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. We welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Just the one touchdown in that first half. Seven nothing our score as we get going in quarter number three. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 64 yards rushing for him down to this point. Second down and three. A handoff Swift running to the left. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
Swift going to try up the middle. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. First and 10 at the 31 yard line. Key, Phil Key, Phil Key. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Back to the running game with Swift. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Swift. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's Pickett. Forced out to his left. Oh, it's intercepted. They got Pickett for the third time in this game. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't dented the scoreboard yet. And they're kind of forced to take a few chances here. And that one, they're not fired in a big round. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now 21 to nothing. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this year. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense. And frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Now the throw on third down, not to win an incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Back to throw, pick it. Got his man, it's Warren. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. But that's good work there to bite off a chunk of yards. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Off play action, pick it. On the move to his left. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Second and 10. Pick it'll look to throw it here. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. And this offense on third down today, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. A solid pick and lost it. Two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. And in for the Steelers' touchdown! Darnell Washington, a 
two yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. 19 Tiger, 19 Tiger. Pickett will try to throw for this. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the the toe to the leather on that one. Their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He'll get this off to Swift. And down inside the 15 he goes. A big pick up there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around to 13. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. They'll try to run with Swift, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? They've got his man complete. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. First and 10, here's Pickett. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looking to throw, pick it. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. 
Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Hurts to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. His own coverage. So he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him. And he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. And he's taken down and able to slip across the 35. And this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, turn the pressure on, but we're the type of team that